Hey everybody, just a real quick video on some holsters that I have in my collection. This is not all of them, but the ones that I use primarily. And I'll go through each one of these and talk about the, the pros and cons of them, uh, just to kind of give some insight uh, if you're looking for holsters, because uh, holster companies are popping up all over the place and uh, e each one has its advantages and disadvantages. Um, and, and everybody is different. So it's, it's like a pair of running shoes, uh, if that makes any sense, if you're a runner. And um, everybody's, everybody's body is a little bit different <clears throat> depending on how slim or chubby or obese that you are. Um, it's gonna determine really some carry options for you, how flexible you are, because I've had some holsters in the past that my shoulders aren't very flexible and it, it keeps me from carrying at the four o'clock. And I know people who love carrying at the four o'clock and that's great. And I wish I could, but I can't. My shoulders just aren't flexible enough to do it. I've had some injuries, I'm a little bit older, so. And I do come at this with uh, a lot of years of experience. I've had about three decades of law enforcement experience and carrying a variety of different holsters. And currently my role is a primarily administrator slash plain clothes uh, assignment. And so depending on the day, depending on the clothing I wear, that will determine a holster that I use that day. And some people will, will bitch and moan about that, about, you know, you should wear the same holster every day for consistency and continuity. I've been doing it long enough. I'm conscious enough of where my weapon is. I've trained enough. I'm, I'm good to go, I think. So, um, just let's get started. Uh, kind of let's start with the oldest one. This is a really old holster <clears throat> that I, I had. I've, this is actually was issued to me by state police agency that I retired from. This is a Gould and Goodrich. There we go. Gould and Goodrich uh, ankle holster. Has some lambskin on the inside of it. Uh, I've known one guy uh, in, during my career that was actually allergic to this and had to have something specially made. But this helps, uh, especially if you're a little on the thin side and you need a little padding down there, works great. I'm telling you, this holster is probably, probably close to 20 years old, if not over. And it's made for a Glock 27, and it just, it, it's performed wonderfully. Obviously it has a thumb snap. It has this uh, little clip, this little ring here, and there's a piece of Velcro or a piece of cloth that actually extends up and has a, a uh, piece of Velcro that wraps around your calf. And I hated that, it never really felt comfortable. And I think it's supposed to aid in retention, but I've never had a problem with this thing coming off. Now, when I first came out of the academy, they gave me an Uncle Mike's uh, ankle holster for my 38, and that thing was trash, I hated it. So, so glad to, to get into the Gold and Goodrich line. Works great, I love ankle carry. Uh, when I was working the street in uniform, I always had two guns. I had my duty weapon on my hip, on my duty belt, and I always had an ankle gun because I worked in rural areas and was by myself a lot. So ankle guns I still carry today, one of my favorite ways of carrying. Really discreet. Um, most people don't think about you carrying a gun on your ankle. So works great. And I'll show you, I was very pleased. I got my uh, shield and everything is, is safe, no mag. Bought a shield years ago, and this is the original shield. Um, got some talon grips um, tape on it to kind of help with the with the grip. I love those things. Talon grips are awesome, and I was really pleasantly surprised that this fit uh, into my ankle holster, nice and snug, no rattle. Um, so Glock 27 Smith and Wesson shield, nine millimeter, perfect fit. So. Very pleased about that one. Love that holster. Next one I talk about is once again for the shield. This is a Safari Land ALS uh, retention holster and came with a belt slide on it and a paddle. And I, I love the paddles. I'm not much on a belt slide because when you go to the bathroom, uh, trying to trying to deal with that thing, taking your pants off and then pulling your belt out, all that kind of crap. I hate that. So. The, the belt obviously aids in retention, um, but this paddle holster with this little piece right here, if you can see that, 
that helps clip onto uh, a belt depending on how depending on how wide your belt is. You can probably see the light in between that and uh, you can see kind of the width of the belt. When I get into my one and three quarter inch belts, that's when I have to kind of pivot away from this one. If I'm wearing a dress belt uh, or something a little bit smaller, if I'm in a suit or uh, just casual wear, then this works great. Uh, if I'm wearing my, um, like I said, inch and three quarter tactical belts, then this is really, this is not deep enough to catch onto that. So this is kind of riding over it. So it doesn't help with the retention, but I love this thumb actuated uh, retention. Uh, I use that in my, in my career with uh, law enforcement with the state police and and really really like that it's kind of a natural grip and you'll see this is made for the shield and just a natural as soon as you index the firearm finger down here thumb goes right here to actuate it and you you end up after you take the when you're taking it out boom your thumb falls in a natural position so you can establish your grip really like the soldier you can hear that positive retention it's not going anywhere um, if you've got this clipped around a belt, it's going to be really hard for a bad guy to get that off. So love that holster. And you can see that the paddle, how close it is. And so this is going to ride snug to your body. And that once again aids in the retention. Rides pretty high. Not a whole lot of, there's only two slots here for uh, the angle of the paddle. So gives a little bit of a forward cant but not a whole lot. Uh, but, you know, like I said before, with my stiff shoulders, works great. So Safari Land ALS, um, big fan of that holster. So second one. Next one I'll just go into, this is the uh, Safari Land ALS, just another version. And this one is actually, let me see here. This one is for my, my duty weapon, once again. Cleared weapon, Glock 19. And <clears throat> these were purchased by the agency. Uh, once again, has the same retention as the thumb brake on there. You see the difference in the paddles here. And I will talk about this. This paddle for me is much more comfortable than this one. I'll talk about hot spots, and that's a big deal for me. Because if the holster is hitting you in a strange position, then you will you'll start developing some hot spots and don't have any issues with this thing. Cause you can see kind of the curvature of that paddle and how that wraps around your hip. Great for three o'clock, maybe even push it back a little bit for four o'clock for those of you who like that. Uh, once again, has this little clip here that's gonna clip onto your belt once you slip that paddle in between your pants uh, and your body and you can see, once again, the clearance, not real wide, but it will fit my inch and three quarter inch belt. So when I'm on the range, if I'm wearing my BDUs, my tactical gear or whatever, then this, this works great. So we also have belt slides with that, but once again, I've already talked about that, not a big fan of those, that's just personal preference. Love that, uh, love that retention, love the positive um, retention of that holster, well-made. Um, you know, wears great, love it. I think these are like a 73, 78 series, and this is a concealment holster uh, from ALS. I actually ordered these from my agency, and once again, you'll see how close this paddle, once it's attached to your body, how close the holster is to your body. Um, and instead of it, you know, protruding out at an angle, Sometimes like uh, duty belts will do to give you a little bit more <clears throat> access to the weapon. Uh, everything we do is from concealed primarily, about 95% of everything we do is from concealed so the weapon is covered. And so we want it close so that when we're pulling the garment over top of the holster to gain access to the firearm, you know, this thing is close. It's not sticking out. If it has that cant out to the side, um, then it makes it a little bit more difficult to, to get the garment over top of it. So, uh, but great concealment holster. Love this one. Gets a lot of use. Next one I'll talk about is one from uh, Veter. And one of my absolute favorite holsters. Um, 
this thing gets a lot of use. And this one is used with my M&P 2.0, 3.6 inch uh, barrel. <clears throat> I love this gun. You see, I've got the Apex Flatty on it. Uh, I use this for, for duty use as well. We allow our guys to pick a couple of different guns that are nine millimeter striker fired to be able to qualify with and carry uh, as well as the Glock 19. Uh, so I, I love this gun. The ergonomics on it are great for me. But this holster is an appendix carry holster. So we went from ankle holsters to um, outside the waistband holsters with the last two safari lands. Now we're talking about appendix carry and uh, ordered this one with the claw. This helps keep the, the butt of the weapon in tight to the body. This goes against the belt and just kind of pushes this back in towards <clears throat> your body. What I really like about this holster is this belt clip. This thing is awesome because if you can see, make sure I've got that in the frame here, you can actually tuck your shirt in behind this. So when you clip this onto your pants, tuck your shirt in behind it and kind of pull it out just a little bit, just give yourself a little bit of extra material down there and people won't even know you're carrying. And, and this is a 15 round mag that goes into this gun. Um, this is not the full size Smith uh, M&P, but <clears throat> it's not the compact either. So I love this, I love this holster. And if I wear it all day and I'm sitting at a desk leaning forward, I may get a little bit of a hot spot, may have to move it around a little bit, but it's rare. I tell you, I, I carry this thing off duty so much that I'll go out, run an errand, come home, start working on something, working on a project. I'm down on my hands and knees up and down and I forget that I'm even wearing it. That's how comfortable this holster is for me. And I love appendix carry. I'm not as fast with the draw uh, on appendix carry because the gun is so close to your body. It, it, I really have to jam my thumb down in between my body and the, and the weapon to get the, to get the weapon out. But it's just so comfortable and it's so concealable. People just don't know you're carrying and <clears throat> I'm all for uh, people carrying guns outside the waistband, uh, not concealed, don't care. I live in Kentucky where we're a, uh, a constitutional carry state. You don't need a permit uh, to carry your firearm in Kentucky. Uh, and, and I love that even, and then some cops are all torqued up about this shit. I don't care, I'm all about the constitution. So, um, and we, we've not had any issues with that law since it's been implemented. So there you go. Now, love this holster. It has a little bit of, of uh, adjustment here as far as the cant, but like I said, I'm, I'm appendix carrying, so I kind of like that straight up and down and <clears throat> just very, very, very comfortable. Um, you know, this, this M&P 2.0 has a really aggressive um, stippling on the, on the grip. I love it. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I'm usually wearing a t-shirt underneath whatever shirt I'm wearing over top of this. So that's always in between me and my body. I can see how if you're wearing it just uh, between against your body, maybe that gets gets a little, little raw, but <clears throat> no issues for me. It's just all about how you carry it. But I love, love that Veter holster. I look thinking about adding to my collection uh, from them uh, in the future, so. Great holster. Next thing I want to talk about, another appendix carry is, this is a We The People holster. I've got the We The People logo actually covered up with this piece of Velcro. Probably not the sexiest thing um, out there, but it's just what I had one day and stuck it on there because this, this clip is not as functional as this Veter clip <clears throat> in that, you know, the shirt can be tucked down and behind it. You can't tuck anything behind this. So it's just, it's it's out there showing and you just have to wear your shirt over top of it. Um, and, and that would usually cover that logo up. I get it, but just in case, I didn't want that being seen and being obvious. So I just covered it up with a piece of Velcro, whatever. This claw is actually a, a printed from a 3D printer. Uh, my daughter has one, I asked her to, to, to hook me up and so, she did that, I put that on there, and that helps once again, kind of keep the firearm. And this one is for my, that's for my shield. And you can see, I mean, it's got a, got a little extra material up here at the top. 
uh, for the side channel down through there. Maybe a little bit, you know, too much, but once again, it's a very comfortable holster for a uh, for an M&P uh, shield. And the the only the only knock I give it is just this this clip. Uh, it, it, if this were modeled after the Veter, man, this would be uh, a perfect holster because it works great. Uh, I really really like it. Love that it comes. It's customizable. They have so many cool designs that we the people. Uh, they do great work. I've, I've used this one a lot as well and has worn perfectly. You see a few little scratches here and there, but I, I don't baby my stuff. I mean, I, it'll it'll get thrown in a, in a basket with all my other gear, my knife and my challenge coins and a lot of other um, metallic objects. And it's just done great, just done great. I love it. Great, great carry. Once again, I forget I'm, I'm, I'm wearing the damn thing most of the time. So another great holster. Uh, appendix carry so once again just has a has a limitation with that but you can overcome that very easily very easily it's kind of picky to even talk about that but you know great holster love love we the people great company let's see i think the last one i got here and this is the most expensive one i'll talk about so let's go back to uh, the gould and goodrich ankle holsters i don't even know what they cost because i like i said i got that issue to me the We The People holster, I think, was around $50-ish, something like that. Not too bad. Actually, I think it was sub-50. Pretty cheap. Uh, ALS holster for my shield. I uh, got this off Amazon for like 35 bucks. I mean, that's a steal. That's a steal. Now, these ALS holsters, concealment holsters um, for the Glock 19. Uh, I also have one for my M&P shield that I can't currently put my hands on right now. It's a problem with having so many holsters. Um, these run, I think, retail maybe around $60, $70. I know we get them on price contract because we're law enforcement and buy them in bulk. Around $45, ish something like that. But that's still a great quality holster for under $100. Bucks. Great stuff. I talk about all those prices. And the Veter, I think, was around $70, something like that maybe. It's because it's Tier 1. This tier one is, is kind of considered uh, the Mac Daddy when it comes to uh, holsters. Um, and, and the price indicates that because this was about $170. And I usually do not spend that kind of money on a holster, but I'd seen some other videos on, on tier one and was really looking for a good uh, appendix carry option. And once again, I'm, this is for my MNP shield. Uh, Put my mag in here and bam i mean and you just wear this like right in the center of your body uh once again it came with a claw uh, it's got a little you know built-in claw right there and I, I got the uh sweat shields on both sides i think those are medium size so i think they start around 150 something like that and then as you start adding material different options these these clips were or an add-on, I spend, end up spending about $170 now. These utility clips, um, ulti clips, I guess is what they're called. Man, these things, you're not gonna lose your firearm. Uh, you will, hopefully you can see this. This clips over your pants, and, and then when you cinch this down, man, those things, it's not going anywhere. It's just, it's locked in there. And I'm gonna be honest with you, the most comfortable carry for me for this holster is with gym shorts. Yeah, gym shorts. Yeah, it's the most this because of these ulti clips, they'll lock on there. Man, it's awesome. I mean, they just they lock on and, and the gym shorts, you don't even know it's there. <clears throat> it's a perfect option, but it's very expensive um, for most folks. And you very customizable, lots of different colors, lots, I mean the paracord was a choice of mine. Um, you get to pick the, the color of the Kydex, all that good stuff. So, and it has some, some options as far as raising and how, how high it's going to ride up <clears throat> outside your belt line or how low it's going to ride down in there. Another, another great quality holster. So I can be honest, I'm happy with all the holsters I have. I don't have any major gripes about any of them. So I just wanted to kind of go over a few that, that I have because I hear people talking about holsters all the time and man, they, they complain about some of the smallest stuff 
And it, it really depends on your body and how you carry and what your limitations are and, and how you're using it. Um, you know, are you using it purely, uh, uh, are you a civilian and you're carrying off duty or just carrying, or are you a law enforcement officer and you're off duty and you're carrying, what are you wearing? You know, what's your mission? Are you working some kind of undercover gig? Um, I tell people, man, uh, I tell my folks that working undercover, anything like that, it's going to be an appendix carry because they are not going to see it. Uh, and, or maybe an ankle, but appendix carry for sure, especially with that Veter holster. Uh, they're not going to see that holster uh, if I have anything to do with it. So just some great options out there. I don't believe you can go wrong with any of these companies uh, that I've shown you today. All very reputable, high-speed holsters that work great for multiple, multiple purposes. So that's all I got. If you have any questions, put them in the uh, put them in the comment section. I'll try and get back to you. Thanks.